Welcome to Lightboard Learning, where we discuss coaching principles. Today, I want to talk about fuel utilization relative to energy system training. So just so we're speaking the same language, I want to introduce you to OPEX gain, pain, and sustain. So OPEX gain is a lactic work, OPEX pain is lactic work, and OPEX sustain is aerobic work. And I also want to give you an example of each of those pieces. So think of OPEX gain as doing a really heavy contraction, so a back squat, a deadlift, or doing something really fast for a short amount of time. So think about sprinting for 10 seconds on an assault bike, or think about sprinting 10 seconds on the grass or a track. OPEX pain, think about that as painful activity, painful unsustainable activity. So think about doing the same sprint, but extending the time out. Right, so we have a power and time curve. So power is the highest in OPEX gain. It lowers in OPEX pain, but we're extending time. So think about doing the same assault bike sprint for 60 seconds instead of 10. And then lastly, I wanna talk about OPEX sustain. So like I said, that's aerobic work. So think about doing something very long and extremely sustainable. So think about doing 60 minutes on an assault bike at a sustainable RPM over the entire 60 minutes. So now let's discuss what substrate we use inside of each of these systems. So starting with OPEX gain, we use creatine phosphate as a fuel source. In OPEX pain, we use lactate as a fuel source. And finally, in OPEX sustain, we use oxygen or O2 as the primary fuel source. So it's extremely important to understand that we're never using one of these systems independently me walking from here through this class and to the camera on the other side, I'm using all of these systems at any given time. But we have to understand me doing that, I'm probably going to utilize the O2 system or OPEX sustain more than the other two. And if I do that sprint for 60 seconds, I'm using lactate as my primary fuel source over creatine phosphate and O2. A reason why it's important to understand what substrate your clients are using when you give them programs is to understand how they should fuel for that or how they should not fuel for that. For instance, because I'm using creatine phosphate in the OPEX gain system, I don't really have to have a very specific fueling strategy because we all have creatine stores inside of the cells. If I'm using lactate as a fuel source, I have to be ready to use lactate as a fuel source. So maybe I need to have some carbs pre-workout Maybe I need to have some carbs post-workout workout to replace the glycogen that I used in that session. And then again, with OPEX sustain, we all have oxygen to use in aerobic work. So maybe I approach that the same way that I would approach OPEX gain or the creatine phosphate system. So now that you understand what substrate you use relative to the energy system that is used the most in any particular piece, you're now ready to go out and coach these three energy systems and have really good strategies in implementing these three energy systems with their clients.